This feature alone will change forever how you see and use Cave Engine. And I'm talking about version 1.3 that is in development. And this is an official devlog. So uh, let's go ahead and watch and understand exactly what is new here in this amazing game engine and by the way before i continue i do have here the launcher because i want to show you something very quick but if you don't know what is cave what what is going on here um i've put together a small page it's very simple uh it takes like three minutes to read uh, for you to understand and to know the engine a little bit better so if you don't have the engine and if you want to take a look and see if that's for you if it makes sense for you uh make sure you check the link in the description i'll also leave it uh in the first pinned comment so you understand the engine a little bit better okay so let's go ahead and jump to the engine and i'm talking about path i'm talking about splines and i'm talking about uh cur curves and graphs and stuff that you can create in the editor but i don't have this open just yet because i want to show you some small stuff first because i want your feedback so when you first enter the engine and one of our main goals here with cave engine is that like a game engine needs to be like a joke and if you need to explain a joke then the joke is not very good and my i i follow the same principle in software development especially especially in game engine development so i don't want to uh, you as the game engine user to, to have to rely on tutorials and reading thousands of pages to know the basics of game engines. I know that this is how this, the system, how the game development world uh, teaches you that it's the normal way to learn something, to make games, you spend days, years, months, I don't know, learning a game engine. I don't want that for Cave. So I think pushing uh, forward more and more, um, intuitive design intuitive stuff uh for the engine to for you to not be able to to not have to worry about watching tutorials not understanding anything like that um anyways so one of the things that i added recently and i want to listen some feedback is let's say that i uh click here in font settings by the way this is a test uh tooltip uh now you can see the editor interface scale i do have this value here and now i have this tutorial text here uh this is very useful uh, there's a lot of softwares a lot of websites a lot of games that do have like this tutorial pop-up here so it is explaining what is this about of course this is just a test tutorial i, I probably don't need to explain the, this but anyways um and you can click here okay once you learn and you can see that it is glowing for you to understand and i'm integrating this into the engine so when you first open the engine you will see a lot of useful two tips and by the way yes i know people hate some people love this some people hate it so if you hate you can just go to about editor settings and disable the tutorials it's fine I'm, I'm not gonna judge you uh don't worry about that but if you want this it will only appear a single time so you can see you're not gonna appear anymore and you'll learn more about the engine by using it literally with some important uh, in useful tutorials and of course if i mouse over you can see they already have some useful uh on mouse over uh tutorial so this is very good so if i click here in new project i've added two uh example tutorials so we have here the project directory it explains here okay you can select the directory and then and, and all that and if you don't have it use the default my projects directory so i can click here and i do have the game mode here and do have a two tip here to explain well the, the cave engine will actually uh, initialize the your your new project with a bunch of stuff uh, some default behaviors to help you create your game faster and all that so you can click ok and now you learn that so you can play pick a first person game a third person top down empty game and all that so you know all that so basically i want to add this i don't want this to be invasive and to have like a, a pop-up everywhere I, I just added a bunch of pop-ups here in the launcher just to show you that we do have this feature but i want to integrate this of course uh in the engine itself in the usability here so let me know if you have the engine um which feature you wish you knew earlier in your journey with cave engine uh, or which feature you had a hard time understanding what is this what is going on or, or how to do this for example uh i realized recently that one of the developers in our studio didn't knew that if you click here in the first uh, in the frame per second counter it will open an entire profiler tab with a bunch of profiling too um and this is like very nice you can just click here and see what's going on by the way i do have the bug version here so it's it will probably going to be slow uh because of the debug stuff it's not a release build um uh, anyways so 
One of the developers here didn't knew this and I was like, okay, I need pop-ups to show at least some basic stuff. Anyways, this is why I added this. So uh, I can add a pop-up everywhere explaining. I already have a bunch of stuff explaining. So if you mouse over a, a component, for example, you can see there is documentation here explaining what is going on. Uh, so this is a great way to learn the engine. You can see uh, it's all very well documented, but now we can have like at each individual slider level, uh, which is great. So most of the things don't need the explanation, but some some things do need. So let me know in the comments what you, if you use the, the engine, uh, which thing you don't understand, or it took a while to understand, or you still don't understand, and a tutorial will help a lot, okay? And again, you can disable this. Okay, so now let's jump back to the main goal here of this video, which is to showcase a new tool that I've been working on. So. We are creating an open world game. Um, maybe it's a GTA game. <laughs> maybe yes, maybe not. Um, here in the studio, uh, I can't say anything about it yet. And it is evolving. The engine is evolving a lot. For example, we have the pedestrian um, that I created in the previous video here, which is a state machine. And by the way, we do have icons for the state. This is new. Uh, in the previous video, there was no icon for the state machine. Now we do have the state's icon. Uh, let me know in the comments if you like it or not. Anyways, uh, it indicates that it's a Python stuff because there's the Python icon and we do have this. Anyways, uh, so this was from the last video. Very nice, it is, it is an hierarchical, this is a hard word to pronounce, uh, state machine, so you can have behavior trees if you want to do it, uh, to, to mimic with state machine, or you can have uh, regular state machine stuff. Anyways, uh, good stuff, but now, one of the things that we required here in the studio for our games, and I believe that you guys will love this, is the path tool. So if I shift A here to create a new uh, entity, I can now create a path, and by the way, a path is just an empty uh, with a path component. So the, what is really new here is this new path component over here that you can see. Um, and it does create some default path for you here. It's a default, it's a basic stuff, but you can go ahead here in the tooling with the path selected and change to the path tool, or you can press shift four to uh, change to it. And now I can select the path and how cool is that? I can start drawing paths in the map. And of course, I can press uh, G to place each point here. There is mood select. So yes, you can select multiple, uh, multiple points at once. Um, and I can press Alt G to create a new point. And I can press B to create a Bezier here. So it can be linear or I can have Bezier curves. This is work in progress, by the way. You can see there is a direction here because the, the path can be directional. Uh, I don't think I have the, the code uh, set up yet to change the direction or to smooth out of the path, uh, but this will come uh, very soon. And what is interesting is that, I, of course, I can close the path. So I can press select those two nodes here and press C to close it. Let me press B here to create a Bezier. Simple stuff here as well. Let's go ahead and create a Bezier. Cool. Now I kind of have like a circuit or stuff like that. And what is interesting is that this path can actually be anything. It can actually select these two uh, nodes here, these two points, and press C to connect them. Uh, so you can see that I'm now no longer making something... Um, I don't know, like a circle. I can have literally, maybe if you want, you can create a city network. Maybe you, you want to, to use this. Oops. Uh, let's select this. Okay. And create an entire city. Uh, maybe you're creating a GTA game, as I said, and you want to use this as a, the starting point for a procedurally generated city. So you can create this. Of course, the proportions are crazy here. Uh, but the idea here is that now we have this, let me go back and go, uh, now I'm on uh, manipulation tool, basic stuff, but I do have paths here in my scene that I can use as I want, actually. This is just a tool for you to create paths. Uh, this is very nice because you can create, uh, show the edges here. Uh, maybe you are interested in the edges. Maybe you're creating a forest. You're not really interested about the path. Uh, or, or you're creating a bunch of spawn points for something. You can use the path tools and just use the, the points here. Uh, you can see that this is literally the points that we created. Um, I can create 
I don't know, a copy of this point and all that can move this up and create a bunch of stuff. Or if I want, again, I can go ahead and show the lines here or I can show only the lines. I can change the line color. So maybe this is like the path for my road, road genera uh, generation, but maybe I do have another path. Let's go ahead and create a new one here. Uh, let's go to the edit mode real quick and create something like that very ugly this is the point of this video is not to show that things are beautiful it's just to show uh, the usability and maybe i want this red to indicate something else um so you you get the idea basically i can create multiple paths and do whatever i want with this so maybe i want to integrate my state machine for example in the walk in the walk state here um I can get the path, I'm not going to show in the code here how to do this uh, just yet, but maybe I can get the enemy and get the closest point in the path um, and get the direction of the path and make the, 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 car, the guy start walking uh, around this path. So I can do this. Maybe again I can use this uh, to feed a procedurally generated uh, procedure generation uh, tool that I can create in Cave. And by the way, it's very easy to create tools uh, in Cave Engine uh, to basically generate roads maybe to generate buildings and all that so i want this path too to be to this path component to be very simple stuff uh but at the same time very modular so i know that this video alone uh we're not going to show uh much of all the features that it can do with the path component but trust me you can do a lot um, because uh, I am providing an API and all that so I'm still working on it there is some rough edges uh, I believe the drawing um, is sometimes a little bit wrong let me try to find an example of something wrong well, I can't find just because I'm showing you anyways uh, but I'm working on it I'm improving something that I really wanted to do is to allow because like in cave you can have uh, terrain it will suffer a little bit on the bug mode here because uh, again it's the bug mode but I promise it's it's fast uh, but it can have terrain and maybe I want in the future to actually use the path to shape the terrain because maybe you are creating a, a road and you want to place a road over the terrain and you don't want to manually uh, paint things up so I want to shape this and one thing that I want to add uh, to the path uh, with this path component, of course, there's a lot of new Python APIs, a lot of stuff that you can do uh, in Python and something I really like in, in, in Blender. Uh, but hey, the path is similar to a Bezier, but it's better. Oh, I hate the fact that Blender don't show this by default. Uh, because in Blender Bezier curves, um, you kind of have like a dependency be between the Bezier. I don't remember if you can split this to create, uh, to, to not have them aligned here. Uh, but also you cannot, you can see, uh, you cannot have like individual lines going on. It's always one straight line. So you can have like a, an intersection or something like that. Uh, but what I was about to show you, which is very nice, a Blender have, is the array modifier, not the array modifier actually, it is the curve modifier. So if I select the curve, it will place the curve over here. Uh, and I believe if the curve is first though, the array needs to be first, but the size here, I can fit a curve and select the curve. And what it, what is nice is that now I can have this interesting, oh, I hate that you're not showing this, okay. Segment here that I can in Blender, 3D model and maybe create a road. And you can see if I split this to have a bit more resolution to work on. Uh, now all of a sudden I have a road generation. And all I had to do, you can see it is, uh, I can change, I can scale and all that. And all I had to do here as you can, as you saw, is create uh, an array modifier and a curve modifier in this mesh and i want to have a function in cave that creates an array in a curve for you to create procedural stuff very fast using again the road using the paths so imagine like here you can have advanced paths that maybe you don't have you cannot have in blender i mean maybe you can have a path node i don't know what it is to be honest i never use the path node in blender maybe a great exercise for me to test but I don't think I can have, uh, I don't know how to 
do to connect stuff. Oh, but I don't think the path uh, does weird stuff either. As you can see, it's only one line. Anyways, um, so we can have this kind of features in the, in the engine. I really want to do this. Uh, it will probably not going to be like a UI, something like that. I don't want to have this uh, in Cave. But what I want to have, for example, is to have like a, a function that given a path and a template uh, places the template over uh, all over the path, you know, using basically the same principle that I just did here in Blender. So I want to do this automatically for you in Cave uh, so I can do procedurally generated stuff much easier because right now you can do it. Uh, and we, we are doing this in, in our studio right now in, in our next game to make like the CD. Uh, may or may not be a GTA game. Anyways, <laughs> cannot say much, but uh, we are doing this by hand right now. We are manually doing the, cal the calculations and all that. Uh, so we want to bring this and integrate this inside the engine. Uh, so that's the new thing. KVH 1.3, man, it would be so good. Imagine like we have the path component, we have all the fixes, all the improvements. Uh, we have like the, the state machine. Man, imagine you creating games like this. It would be very nice, very easy. And I'm saying... More and more, uh, using Cave is like a lifesaver. It will be forever a hundred times easier, easier than any other engine. And we are working to guarantee that this is true, that this will be the reality. So that's it for this video, folks. Let's, let me know in the comments what you think. Let me know in the comments where do you think it's good to add the two tips to help people learning the engine. Again, you can disable if you don't like them. It's fine. Uh, but that's it. So my name is Jeremy. Again, let, let Check the link here in the description if you don't know Cave or if you don't have it and you are curious if that's for you or not. Uh, I'm pretty sure that this will uh, make things more clear for you. So thanks for watching and I see you in the next video. Bye!